relax, Shadow. Yo, Shadow, me. relax. Yo, Yo, Shadow, Yo, stop. When men fight back. Number one. We are 100% for gender equality. This guy is too. That's why there was absolutely zero hesitation when he decided to share his strengths with his fellow mate. This lovely woman stepped up and challenged this man to a fight, and the challenge was accepted. You can clearly see all of the fairness within this fight. At one point, it did look as though some mercy was shown. I guess that since her training as a Marine encouraged her to be all that she could be, that really gave her the confidence to be handled in such a way as well. I'm having a really hard time. People keep telling me I'm ugly and gross and I'm not funny and I'm stupid and I'm weird and I just hear that all day long. You think you can fight a guy? Yeah. You really think you can fight a guy? <laughs> yeah. She's like, yes. Fight think you. Yes. Yes. Let me fight you. Yes. You guys, I was sparring with him. My ex was 6'5 yes. and I'm That doesn't him matter up. though. Stop the cap. <laughs> I'll tell you guys this right now. You two, you, what, three of you said you could fight a man? A 14-year-old boy will f*** each of you up. I <laughs> promise you. A 14-year-old boy. It's all gonna be safe. And we're all gonna have a great time. What in the Jesus Christ was that? Uh, 7.5. 4. <laughs> uh... You gonna get a six. <laughs> what happened? Number two. Okay, don't avert your eyes. And no, you didn't miss the iconic drum roll intro that would normally accompany a threesome. This guy handles two women like a pro. No, really, they tried this guy and one by one, he had them tapping out. Number three. There is something about rank that makes a person feel as though they have all the power in the world. This young lady took her rank and decided to try and show this private a lesson. And that she did. You can see her coming in strong in the beginning and really holding her own for a nice amount of time. I mean, if you count 12 seconds as a nice amount of time. Once he gets her to the floor, the countdown starts. You can clearly see that all of that training that she had those years were almost thrown out the door as this private turned the tables on his superior. He barrel rolls her like an alligator, and it was at that point she knew she messed up. Choked out moments later, and we were pretty sure that he either had to be transferred or received an immediate promotion. What's your type? What's my type? Short okay. and Latina. Damn, I'm not short or Latina. Would you make an exception for me? No. Rejected. Really? So, like, you wouldn't kiss me? No. Right, because people are tired most of the time. I, I love you so much. Oh, thanks. Can I give you a hug? No, thanks. Please? No, thanks. A little one. Yeah, no, thanks. Who the fuck are you, bitch? Oh. <laughs> that was a nice moment. I don't know who that was. Yes. If he wants a sandwich, you can make daddy a sandwich. Oh. Most of the time. No, no. No, no, let me ask you this. Well, okay, let me ask you this. If me and you out, and somebody say something slick to you. You punch him in the face. You want me to smack him in his mouth, yep, right? that's right. So if I take you on a date, and I say, look, baby, we gonna go Dutch. No. Exactly. If we walking up to the car, and I don't open your car door, what do you say? Open the door. You better believe it. Yeah, no, I, I'm with you. I think so you make daddy a sandwich. I think, <laughs> I will. Got him. We fucking got him. You know, it's just the fact that I know I'm a hot bitch and I can bag any dude I want, but I'm just stuck on this one dude that won't make me his girlfriend. I sound a mess. I gotta get my shit together. I don't think most men truly understand how strong of a drug validation and approval is for women. Think about it. She's used to getting in her way. She has all these yes men throughout her entire adult life. All these guys want to hang out and hook up and have sex with her. She can pick that guy to have sex with. She can swipe right on the guy and they usually match. She can give free meals and drinks. But as soon as that one guy that she really wants says no, they go crazy. That's because they're used to getting everything in their life handed to them. Especially if she's an above average looking woman. She's like, man, I can have this. I can have that. That's how sport and rod modern women are. 
So if you're the type of guy that she really wants to be with, and I'm quite sure some of you have been there, and you just want to just hang out and have sex with a woman, you don't really want to, you know, uh, be committed to her or anything, take her on any dates, she usually goes crazy. She wants to give you more sex because she can't compute. She can't fathom. Why is this guy not wanting to be with me? Every guy that I've been with, they wanted to deal with me. They wanted to hang out with me. They would give me the world. But this one dude, he doesn't want to be with me. They start to think something is wrong with me. Something is off. I'm flawed. You know, and then they start to give their whole body. They start to give money. They start to do everything for that one guy in order to get his approval. Men will tell you what they want. Mm -hmm. Women, we're over here. We're like, oh, we like hear something else. Yeah. And we like hear and believe something else. And then we are not honest with you. How so? Like most women are sleeping with a few, a few different men. I've noticed that, especially in the talking stages, I, I've caught multiple women telling me they're only talking to me, but like behind the scenes. There's a way they do it. They're sleeping with other men and then they're not sleeping with the guy they really like because they want to appear like they're the good girl. Like, I don't give it up. I'm not out in the streets. I'm not backing it up. But they're getting it from other guys. Somewhere else, somebody. I tell guys is if a woman holds out on you, she either likes you too much or doesn't like you at all. Isn't True. that funny? I look like shit today and dudes is on me like Why the fuck you lying? They're looking at me in my eyeballs like they want to fuck me or something. A woman can cheat on a man, then divorce him, take his house, take his cars, take his children, and then dictate to that man when and where he can or cannot see his children. Bro, that's too much power for one person to have. If you're in Georgia and like big girls, comment. I'm looking for a friend with benefits. It's cold. I'm lonely. Hardest feeling in the world got to be getting rejected by a hoe. I mean, it got to be. It got to be because it's like you don't let the whole city hit. You don't let the whole city hit. And it's a no for me. But it's a no for me. Are you for real? Like they don't they don't ran trains on you. Trains on you like bam, bam. Got tired. Tad and that's motherfucker in. Now he up to play. Now he hitting you. But it's a no for me. That'll really fuck up your self-esteem. That'll have you looking in the mirror like what the fuck is wrong with me? You know what I'm saying? That what, what is wrong with me? Because I know some of the niggas you let hit. I know them. And I know they don't look better than me. Like, I ain't the I ain't the ugliest nigga in the world. I know that. But I ain't the prettiest motherfucker either. You know what I'm saying? But I'm in between. You don't hit some ugly motherfuckers, but you can't hit me? Shit crazy. That's like going up to a homeless man, offering him money. And he's like, nah, man, I'm good. Like, motherfucker, I thought this is what you wanted. Number four. This guy understood the assignment, turned it in, and dropped the mic. But what could you expect? Maybe she thought that he would go easy on her. Or maybe she thought he just wouldn't step up to the plate and actually knock it out of the park. Over and over and over to be exact. At the age of 46 years old, this guy is nowhere near done. Maybe a little winded, but not done. He takes the body blows that she tries to send his way like it's nothing and starts wailing on her. He is relentless and goes until they have to ring the bell multiple times. Each round you can see her slowly slipping away from his attacks, knocking her headgear and her thoughts left and right. It's as almost if he truly didn't see a gender, 